In this video, we'll learn how to use the quadratic equation to discuss the nature of roots. So when we discuss the nature of roots, we'll focus on a parabola and we want to discuss the nature or the characteristics of the roots of that parabola. Now the roots mean where the parabola intersects with the x-axis or the x-intercepts. So first off, we can have a parabola with two roots, and these roots can be positive or negative, but there will always be two different values. But also, we can say that these roots are real and that they exist on a number line. Secondly, we can have a parabola with only one x-intercept or a root touching the x-axis. Notice that the root is still real even though it's only touching at one position. So it's no longer two positions, but only one position. And we can also have a parabola that does not intersect with the x-axis at all. Then this parabola would not have any roots, so the roots are not real. But we can discuss the nature of the roots without trying to draw the parabola and simply focusing on the square root section of our quadratic equation. So we'll focus on b squared minus 4ac. This is known as a discriminant. And we can discuss whether the roots are two roots, one root, or no roots at all by looking at the discriminant, meaning b squared minus 4ac. And we'll use the notation of delta for b squared minus 4ac, where delta represents the discriminant. So first, we know that the square root cannot have a negative value on the inside that will exist on a number line. So the moment we have a negative value, we would say that delta is smaller than zero or negative. And we know that when delta is negative, no real value exists, so therefore the roots do not exist on the x-axis. So we say the roots are non-real roots, or there are no real solutions to this equation. Secondly, we can have a square root equal to zero. So meaning b squared minus 4ac can be equal to zero. That means delta is equal to zero. So in that instance, we have a parabola that only intersects with the x-axis once. So the turning point is exactly on the x-axis. That is when delta is equal to zero, and we will find only one value for x. Next up, we can have a square root that's a perfect square, meaning, for example, the square root of 16, which is equal to 4, or the square root of 9, which is equal to 3. So when delta is a perfect square, we have a parabola with two roots on the x-axis, so two x-intercepts. And we say that these values, x1 and x2, would be rational values. And if you cannot remember what rational values are, please go check out our video on what is a real number. And lastly, b squared minus 4ac can be a positive value that is not a square root. So meaning delta is bigger than zero. In that case, we also have a parabola with two roots. But now these roots are irrational values. And irrational values are decimals that do not terminate. So just a quick recap. We can use the square root of the quadratic formula as the discriminant, where the discriminant is represented by delta, or triangle, and that is equal to b squared minus 4ac. When delta is smaller than zero, then we have a parabola that do not intersect with the x-axis, so the roots are non-real. When delta is equal to zero, we have a parabola with a turning point exactly on the x-axis, so we have one single value, or one root. And then we have delta bigger than zero. And this can be a perfect square, 
or a simple positive number. And then we can either have roots that are rational when it's a perfect square and roots that are irrational when it's just a positive number.